Hi, I'm Dr. Epstein, and I'm here to show you a little bit about uh, eyebrow transplants, which happen to be one of my particular areas of expertise. Um, I do several of these every week. Um, I'm doing them, specializing in them on patients who travel to me from around the world um, that you know want the restoration of their eyebrows, usually due to plucking, over plucking, but can be due to a bunch of different causes, including low thyroid levels and genetics is a very common, and sometimes due to trauma. In the case of Karen here, um, her eyebrows, are, you know, you can see how thin they are. She also had quite a bit of asymmetry. So the goal, as, as you see I've marked out, is an, is an aesthetic look um, where um, the concepts of eyebrow design is that it, I like it to follow and therefore complement the natural brow position. And you can see how we have a, a sort of a flat area here. This is the peak of the arch, which corresponds to the lateral aspect of her, of her, of her iris which is um, called the lateral limbus, and then it fades off um, into, the, into a tail. And the way I do these procedures is I use a very tiny recipient site um, blade, which is 0 0.5 millimeters. And you can see that I make these very tiny recipient sites placed totally flat to the surface of the scalp, or the surface of the forehead, thus allowing me to place the maximum amount of hairs into each um, into each eyebrow for the, for the most impressive results. And I'm following her natural direction of hair, which is a little bit unusual for most patients. I bet you didn't know that, Karen. Um, it's a little bit unusual because typically, for most patients, these hairs grow down and the lower hairs grow up. She mostly has them growing down, so I'm going to try to mitigate that or minimize it, but I still want to stay true to her own natural uh, direction of growth. And what I will typically do in one of these procedures is as many as 325 to 350 recipient sites into each eyebrow, thus producing the most impressive and, and of course, natural-looking results. And you can see I'm making the recipient site, and in, as I said, into each recipient site is going to go um, a graft, which has one or two hairs. And here, the direction changes, and it grows more in a vertical direction, as opposed to a down-growing direction. So I'm following the natural direction using these very tiny recipient sites. Linda's assisting me here, helping to counter retract. And once again, I'm just making more and more of these recipient sites. In a little bit, once all the recipient sites are made, uh, on one side, we'll begin the process of planting. Right now, we have three of my assisting, so Maida, Alcita, and Mercy, they're cutting the grafts. And those are the grafts that we're going to be using uh, for placing into the eyebrows. A typical procedure takes around two to two and a half hours to make sure the patient's happy with the results. We'll have them um, see the final result and we'll make adjustments. So we've got more of that you know, to do with Karen. Um, you know, so we've got quite a bit of, uh, of work to do. But ultimately, patients, you know, when they leave the office, they'll be able to see the eyebrows and we want to make sure that's just what, they look, what, they, what they're looking for. And then um, three to four months later, when the hairs re really grow in, she'll have her own natural eyebrows that will need to be trimmed uh, typically on a once or twice a month basis. And that's it.